Hi, I'm the installation specialist from iDesigns. Today I'm going to show you how to install viewpoint frame display unit. Like I said before, I don't like to unwrap until we take the cleats off, so we're going to show you that now. So after we take the cleats off, we're just going to stand it up and unwrap the unit. Just remember to cut on the cardboard so you won't damage your furniture. After you unwrap your unit, just to make it safe and easy to move around, we're going to remove the drawers if your unit has drawers we take the doors off it'll be just easy for installation take the shelf off and like that we can move it back to where your blueprint says to install it and then plug it in after it's back to your outlet that should be around 87 inches after we have removed the doors and the shelves for your viewpoint or your frame display, we're just going to push it back to the wall and of course the specs that you'll have with your job or your measurements and then be able to level it. Now we're going to level your unit and we do have leveling legs on the frame displays, few points in a lot of the units that we do have makes it really easy to level. You just have to use a little longer thin screwdriver. Turn your leveling leg on. Check your leveling. Okay, I'm going to be installing brackets to keep the unit from tilting forward or falling. Since you're not going to be able to find a stud on every section of it, I like to pre drill a hole. Use an anchor. And then using short screws but enough that it's going to hold the unit and set it back just a little bit so you won't have a screw showing through the other side of the plywood and after you secure the, the bracket to the cabinet You can use any size screw you want. To install the bracket, just make sure that you use shorter screws so you don't go through the finished side of your cabinet. Attach it to your cabinet, and then you can use any screw you necessary to attach the unit to the wall, into the anchor, or onto the stud. And you will do this on both sides of the unit. When you finish attaching your unit, just take your power cord, your power supply, and plug it into the outlet that you have the specifics or specs of being at 87 inches high, and you should be able to go. After your brackets are installed and your unit is secure, you want to put back your shelves, put back your doors,
your drawers, if your unit has drawers, they do have specific section of it. That will check your doors. If not, if they need to be adjusted, don't have a screwdriver. If they need to be adjusted, you have adjustable screws on your hinge and you should be able to move it up, down, make sure that it's nice and flush and your unit will be ready for display.